the number one setting that can really mess up your tethering connection and also lead to eventual cable failure is gonna be the USB power option. The USB power option can be found in most cameras under the general settings tab, what's in the menu system, and all you have to do is really just turn it off before tethering. Some of the newer camera bodies, such as the Canon R6 like we have here, don't have the ability to turn off USB power within the menu system. In circumstances like this, what we use are the Tether Pro USB Type-A or USB proper to USB-C type cables. And what this allows you to do is utilize the USB or USB Type-A functionality, which doesn't have power delivery at all, avoiding the problem altogether. If you don't have a USB or USB Type-A connection within your computer, what you need to go ahead and get is something like this combination here. So we have is the Tether Pro USB-C to female USB Type-A cable. And this connection would then get connected to a extension cable like we have here, which is a USB Type-A to a USB Type-C connection. This would get connected to your camera and this connection side would go to your laptop. And again, what this is gonna do is utilize that USB Type-A connection so there is no power delivery avoiding the problem altogether. For exact tethering settings based on your camera make and model, follow the link below.